Hello everyone, I'm Lucia Tian. Uh, today I have released uh, Lidacraft CAD version 2.2.0. It has a revolutionary feature that uh, you can actually um, attach a um, picture of leather onto your pattern. That way you can virtually um, test the combination of leathers and also uh, color of the threads and um, pitch of the thread. With this feature, uh, you will be able to guess um, what the final product will look like. What I mean by that is, um, so uh, this is a one of the example. And uh, let me uh, hide this uh, stitching line, uh, which is number four. So if I double click on this one, then stitching line disappears. And you can still see the um, stitching holes here, but uh, by pressing F6 key, um, you can turn this stitching hole into uh, actual thread. And you can um, change the thickness by pressing plus minus. So this is the thickest and then this, this is the thinnest. This way uh, you can, uh, and also you can, you can do something like this too. Um, but anyway, so you will be um, able to guess uh, what it looked like. So I'm, I'm, you know, disabled the um, outline. So this is pretty much uh, what it looked like. And then uh, you can uh, select and then, um, you know, change the color of the leather or, or type of the leather and like this. And this version comes with some examples like shop one to three. And each shop has different type of uh, leather. Shop one has uh, scratch oil leather. And then shop two, it has uh, oil leather and with some color variations. And then shop three, it has um, pull up leather. It has more colors and then uh, more brighter colors. So you can um, play with a different combination of um, you know leather and then see which one um, you know you like or which one your customer uh, likes that type of stuff and then you can also change the color of thread so just select um, the thread and then right click on it and then stitching simulator and here uh, change thread color for stitching simulator and then just pick um, whichever the color uh, you like so this time I picked this one and then okay and then it changes the, the color. Uh, so this way um, you can virtually test thread and the leather combinations without costing anything, just virtually. So I'm going to explain uh, how to do it. Um, okay, so let's start from here. So this is ID card case example. And then uh, what you have to do is actually two step. Step one, uh, separate into parts. So on um, this case, let's uh, extract this one. So this is the, um, the, the back leather. And then actually you need um, this one as well. So double click and then press control and click, 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 and a copy and paste. So uh, what I'm gonna do is to um, trim um, unnecessary portion and then create a pocket. So pick trimming and then um, click here, trim, 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 and trim, trim. So this way um, you could separate um, those uh, two parts uh, from the single pattern. And the next thing you have to do is to convert this into color field. Um, shape. So uh, let's go one by one. So uh, select and um, select one of those and then press F9 or F10. In uh, this case I already separated so uh, F9 is fine. Uh, so pressing F9 will convert uh, this one into color field shape. So um, yeah like, like this. And if you're using Mac uh, you might need to press uh, function key and F9 or F10. Uh, so if you, uh, let me let me go back. So uh, the difference between F9 and F10 is F9 actually converts 
um, the frame into a uh, color field shape. But F10, it creates a copy of it and um, then um, color fill. So you, you have two, one is uh, out in you know, a frame and then uh, the, the, what you created is a copied color field object here, color field shape. But this case, um, you know, I already separated it, so you don't need to create a, a frame. Uh, so just pressing F9 is fine. So let me go back and double click and then F9. So this is the, the back leather part. And then uh, actually it's not leather yet. So uh, let me uh, finish this one as well. So pocket, double click, and then make sure um, all the connection is blue dot um, if it's not blue like uh, it's it's something um, like this so if you see any red dot this means it's not jointed but it's crossed and in this case it doesn't give you color field object I can I can do it but uh, what you get is something like this so um, you know th this is not what you want so go back and make sure you have all the dots in blue and then, then press F9 that will convert uh, to the color field shape okay so uh, this is just a preparation phase and it's done so uh, you, you can do is to click on this leather simulator it's sorry it's a tiny tiny letters I'll try some improvements in the next version, but uh, currently it's a tiny <laughs> letters. Anyway, uh, so this is a leather simulator button. So if you click this, um, you will see this leather simulator um, pane here. And then pick one of the shops and then brand uh, and uh, pick leather. So select a part and then select the leather. And this way um, you can attach picture of leather um, like this and select this one and I would like to make it like uh, cobalt uh, so th that way you can uh, play with uh, different uh, leathers and actually make it um, and actually it will be much easier just to um, overlay um, this leather into here yep so yep so this is and then um, you can um, hide oops sorry I always hide the, um, the frame and the stitching line uh, this will make it um, you know more realistic and then uh, I like more thinner thread so I could make it thinner uh, like this yeah it looks good um, but I want to play with a little co a different color more. So let me make it like a pink. And then, eh, uh, well, uh, not, oh, well, this is good. Yeah, I, I like this. So this way, um, you will be able to play with uh, different combinations. So it, it's really fun. And actually, you can uh, spend hours by just trying different uh, combinations. Um, so uh, my preference um, uh, these days is this um, pastel color leather so um, like like these yeah um, isn't it nice but um, without this uh, function you actually you have to uh, you know combine real leather and see if it matches or not right of course it's a, a little different from the real feeling but um, still, um, it's very close um, in my opinion, and then you can play with um, different color of the thread, uh, stitching simulator, change thread color. In this case, yeah, I might go um, blue. Uh, probably not. <laughs> uh, maybe yellowish color. That might work. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's 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 good, um, but but uh, like this. Uh, once you start uh, playing with this, uh, you you can spend hours just by switching uh, letters. So um, that's how to use uh, the built-in uh, uh, pre-installed letters, and actually you can create your own um, catalog 
uh, like if you want to create a, a catalog for your favorite um, you know leather shop like Rocky Mountain or Tandy leather or uh, any other uh, you know leather shop you can create uh, your uh, catalog um, shop by pressing plus button here so um, here I type in um, my shop um, ABC and then if you um, know that URL uh, if they have um, a website you can type in URL and then actually the URL will appear here shop URL or brand URL so um, this is clickable so so if you decided to uh, get uh, some more letters uh, of this color then just uh, click on it and then uh, it will bring you to the website and my intention uh, by uh, adding this feature is I would like uh, Leather Shop to create uh, their own catalog and uh, distribute to the customers. That way, customers will be able to test their letters uh, virtually. And then once they like it, then they can click on it and go visit the website and then buy letters. So that's a uh, type of experience is what I really wanted to um, you know, well, make it happen uh, in the future. Anyway, so uh, let me create um, um, my shop ABC and then I can leave it those blank and click OK. And uh, now it has a brand, uh, empty brand. So brand is like uh, the type of the leather or the brand of the leather, like a Pueblo or uh, Chrome XL, uh, Meyer, um, you know, like anything. So uh, you can add brand um, to this shop. So let's say, um, yeah, sorry about the, the, the formatting issue for the Mac. Uh, I'll fix this in the next version. Uh, but anyway, so like Pueblo um, URL, um, whatever. And then, and then it, now you have a um, you know, brand Pueblo. And now, of course, I can add uh, some more uh, like um, Chrome Excel. Um, I hope this is spelled correctly um, and um, yeah I can keep doing it and then uh, in this category uh, brand you can add letters here so pressing plus button here and then what you need to input is the name of the, uh, the letter or mostly color uh, in this case so uh, import your picture uh, it could be your own letter uh, um, or um, from the sample um, so in my case I used um, you know this type of um, samples from the shop and then um, so so there's a scroll bar here but it's hard to grab it so I uh, use mouse wheel to uh, scroll it and then shift mouse wheel to the in a horizontal way and without shift virtual so this this is a way to uh, control um, we, in Windows version you have a uh, scroll bar here so it's much easier to uh, control but Mac I don't know why they do this but uh, you know scroll bar doesn't appear here um, it's so hard uh, anyway <laughs> uh, so he here's the um, the selector here so move this one to the the area you want to import so this case I want to import this brown leather so um, make it uh, well place it here you can change the size of the the, the region uh, if you want so I would like to import from here to here and then name it as brown and then if you know the URL type in uh, and then um, if you know the price uh, you can also type it in um, this is just a uh, you know information right now but in the future um, I would like to uh, make it like uh, it calculate the cost of the the product um, by the um, the area so that's um, that's my intention adding this uh, unit price here so um, anyway put the name here and then uh, you don't need to type in you know, unit price here just name and an image that's it and click OK and then um, now uh, it's added here so brown and then here and um, uh, I can add more 
um, from the same image. So here, or I can I, I can pick different one, um, like like this one. Open it, and uh, yeah, I like this color, um, blue. So um, blue color, and okay, and now I have blue uh, leather here. So I can keep going. On. Um, so if you have um you know samples from um you know shop you can do it the same and i i recommend uh using the um uh, scanner uh like uh, com that comes with um the printer flatbed scanner is the best as far as i tested but if you have a uh, digital slr uh or the latest version of the iphone uh, that might work as well so i never tried it but uh, it might work um, but uh, you can import JPEG or PNG file uh, for this purpose. Um, yeah, and uh, you can also uh, import your uh, own logo like this. And um, let me import and logo. Yeah, so your logo appears here, and then um, you place rectangle, oops, rectangle, and something like this. Oops, oh, um, color is not shown. Okay, so here's it, and then um, select, and then press F9, make it field object and the leather simulator and oof you know what um mac version i might need some adjustment if this is windows and um, then it will fit but mac it doesn't do it so uh, i have to um create a real size shape here and then attach leather uh and that that's the way i have to do um anyway i think that's it so um that's how uh, you use it and then um if you want to um hide the the leather portion of it uh, you can uncheck here and then it will uh, delete the leather skin uh, but it will leave the uh, the field shape like this one if you want don't want the fill then uh, you can actually uncheck here show uh, field shapes and it will show only the um, um, you know wires or lines like this and again uh, pressing f6 will convert to stitching holes uh, between stitching holes to the thread pattern so um, yep so that's the basics how to use this feature so please play with it and then let me know what you think and you know this is just a, a version one and then i can make it more uh, intuitive in the future but i think this is still um you know very fun and a very useful feature so please let me know what you think and then um if you have any suggestions questions um please let me know okay so that's it for today uh thank you very much for watching and then i will see you in the next video bye bye